Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Tracer from Overwatch. So we're going to start with the eyes, starting on the left side, I'm going to draw a circle. Starting from the top and working our way down to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. From here I'm going to draw a highlight hitting the top left corner here, so a small circle, maybe a little gap, and a little space in between that circle and the outside of the eye. Then we're going to draw on the pupil, so I'm basically going to trace around the outer perimeter on the inside behind this highlight. So starting on the bottom, I want to try to get an even space all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and color the inside area in black. Let's go over and do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to leave enough space in the middle here. So starting at the top, making sure they're lined up and drawing same size circle. I'm trying to get it the right same size. And then we're going to draw that same highlight circle on the top left. And then we're going to draw the pupil. So tracing around the outside perimeter on the inside. I'm trying to get that spacing all the way around even. We'll go ahead and color that in black. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and give her some eyelashes. So on the left side here, on the edge of the eye, I'm just going to draw a little curl going up. And then I'm going to pull that back in, tapering out so it gets a little bit wider as it gets towards the eye. And then we're just going to fill that in black. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. So making sure we line it up, curling that up, and then tapering in and filling that in black. Now the toughest part of this lesson is to try to get the hair to layer on top of the goggles. So we don't want to draw on the goggles first. We're going to have to draw in the hair on top and then layer the goggles in underneath. So to make this simple, I'm just going to draw a curve to start off the hair. So basically the hair goes from the right side and comes down over this eye. So I know that I want to draw a curve that goes basically from the left and I want to start off wide enough, touching that eye and curving up towards the right. Now that I have that in place, now I can go ahead and layer in the goggles. So we're going to start with the inner edge of the goggle first. So in the center here, it dips down. So I'm going to start on the left side, right about here, come down and curve up. Coming down and then curving up. Now from here, I want to curve and round out to the outside of the upper part of the goggle. So going up like that. Now I'm going to curve down and towards the bottom of the edge of the goggle. So curving and rounding out and down here. I want to take this side and just flip it over and draw the exact same thing on the left side. So I'm being, being mindful of the space between the eye and the edge of the goggle here. And I want to come down to the same height. So I'm using my fingers to help measure this out. So curving around to the bottom, making sure they're at the same height. Now these are going to have to curve up and towards the middle to a rounded tip. So starting on the left side, I'm going to curve up. And then I want to take this side and meet it in the middle here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap so I can round this out and then pull this down into the bottom left. Now let's give it some a little bit of depth and thickness to the goggles. So on the inside left edge here, I'm just going to trace it out to give it some thickness. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Like that. And now we're going to trace out the outer perimeter of the goggle using this inner curve to guide us. So we're just going to go on the outside and just try to draw the same curve evenly all the way around from the bottom to the sides. I'm going to work our way around slowly and carefully. Now as I get up towards the hair, I'm just going to tuck this in underneath like this. Let's give it some detail on the side. So there's a little separation curve along the bottom and on the top here I'm just going to curve that out and you're not going to see that on this side. In the middle here this is probably going to just tuck underneath so I'm not going to bother drawing in the top edge of the goggle there. Let's go ahead and give her a mouth. So we're going to give her a little smirk. So from the left side we're going to start off low and curve up a little bit higher on the right side. We're going to give it a little bit of a bracket on the end. Let's give her some lips. So in the middle of this curve I'm just going to draw a small V and then from the top left corner, I'm just going to curve down to the top edge of that lip. And then the corner of the right side. And for her bottom lip, I'm just going to draw a tiny little curve that goes up like that. We're going to draw in her chin. So her chin, I'm going to draw really shallow. So it's basically a, 
a circle, just a portion of it at the bottom here. So starting on the left, going towards the right, and we want the goggle to overhang the face. So right about here, curve around, and then just tuck that in underneath the goggle. Let's go back up to the hair. I'm going to start layering the hair. So hair gets pulled over this way, and the side there's a little bit of hair that sticks out on this side. Oh, before we get there, let's draw on some ears. So on this side, I'm going to draw a little curve like this, coming out from the goggle, and then just the inner ear detail with a little curve like that. Let's go to the right side, line this up, pull in that ear, and then we'll draw that little hook. Now for the edge of the hair, we're going to show a little bit of the hair spikes on this side, and we're just going to smooth it out towards this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point, I'm just going to draw a curve going up like that. We're going to do another one. We're going to draw a curve going up in the same direction, so we're just kind of spreading it out this way. From here, I want to draw one strand coming down on this side. So it's going to be tucked in behind this main strand. So right here, I'm just going to curve up and then continue up like that. Let's go ahead and draw in some strands. So I'm going to curve up and then I'm going to do that again. So starting down here, a little bit of an overlap, I'm going to curve up like that. Let's go ahead and draw in some more layers. So just down here, I'm going to curve out and I'm going to pull this all the way back up like that. Now let's change the direction. I'm going to give her some little strands coming up this way. So up here, so I'm just being mindful of the size of her head. So I don't want to make her head too big or too small. I'm just imagining a circle from the chin all the way around. The top of the head would be somewhere up here. So I'm just working my way around the outside perimeter of the head. So over here, I'm going to draw a curve going out. And I'm going to pull that back in. Let's do that again. So right here, I'm going to do an overlap. Curving up. Now our hair starts to spike up at the middle here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to curve this back in, kind of stop it right there. Now this is one main spike that goes up and it works its way down to that corner. So right here, I'm just going to go up and pull this down. Do a little overlap, go up a little bit higher. Now this, I'm going to do a little wave coming down. Coming down around the side of the head and then I'm just going to pull this down, aiming towards that point there. Now, we've got the top of the hair, let's do this side here. So she's got a little spike that sticks up this way. So we're going to curve it up and then curve back down. Now, to finish off the side of the hair, I'm just going to go and do an overlap, going out to the side of the head, and tuck this in behind the goggle like that. Okay, so we've got the face. Let's give her a bit of eyebrow. So I'm going to give her a little bit of a scowl. So right over here, underneath this goggle edge, I'm just going to curve into the eye. At the top of the eye, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction and around the eye. And then we're just going to thicken this up. Starting up here, I'm going to taper out to a point. Let's do the same thing on this side. So up here on the top of the eye, I'm just going to curve this underneath the goggle. You probably won't see the rest underneath the hair. Let's get into the body. So rather than having her just standing there with her arms to the side, I'm going to actually give her a little bit of attitude. I'm going to turn her body a little bit so the hip sticks out one way and then the legs will come in the other way to help balance her out. So, with the body, I usually make the body about the same height as the head. So the feet will come down to here. Halfway is where I like to draw in the hips. So because I'm pushing her hips over to one side, I'm imagining from the bottom of her chin, a line going down to the center of her hips. So this is the angle that I want to draw her body. So in the middle here, I'm going to start with that little circle. A circle in the middle of her body. This is going to be our starting point. And I'm going to trim it out on the inside like this. Now from here I'm going to work my way around the collar. So again, because I'm drawing the body in an angle, on this side of the circle I'm going to curve out, and then on this side I'm going to curve out. So you can start to see that I'm sort of angling the body this way. We're going to draw on the collar. So from this side I'm going to draw a curve coming down on the left, and a curve coming down the right, being sure to match the width and the distance on both sides. I'm going to take this point, and curve it right into that circle on both sides. We're going to give it a little bit of trim, so just trimming out the outside, the top, and then the bottom edge. Let's do the same on the right side. This. In the middle here, she's got this little plate that goes up and curves back down like that. So it's just a very simple detail. Now that we have that, we can draw in the hips. So again, I'm going to draw the hips curving to one side here. So underneath this collar, right about here, I'm going to curve out towards the right, and over here, I'm going to curve out towards the right. From here, let's draw a little curve for the waist. So it doesn't go straight across, it actually curves down 
on both sides. And now here is where we flatten this out. We're going to correct the body position so it goes out and it'll come back this way. So up here, and let's draw that little hook that's, that hangs down. So on either side of that circle, draw an angled line. Again, we're following this line here. Go across, and we're just going to trace it out so it's twice as thick. From here, let's go ahead and draw in some trim. So here, we'll draw a curve. Up here, we'll draw a curve coming down. And we're going to draw some straps on the side. So going right into that circle, like this, and we'll draw that twice. So up here, I'm just going to draw another one. Over here, we'll draw another one. And then down the middle, I'm going to draw a zipper. So that angled line, again, her body's angled this way. Two lines coming down. And then across this, I'm just going to draw short little lines across to show some zipper. Okay, from here, let's draw in the legs. So I'm going to have to counterbalance the body position with the legs coming this way. So down this way, I'm going to draw the bottom of the feet here. So I'm going to imagine the center of her body from that zipper down in between her feet. So let's start with the lower torso. I'm going to draw a curve like that. From here, I'm going to draw in the inner part of the leg on the right side. So giving a little bit of an overlap here. Now this side, I'm going to kick it out a little bit more. So it goes wider this way. From the, here, let's draw on the bottom of the feet. So I'm going to give her a pretty big foot. A little wide span there. And then on the right side, making sure they're roughly the same length. And then we'll draw on the top of the foot. So from the toe, I'm going to curve up to the top of the foot and aim towards that heel with almost like a half circle, but I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to go up, kind of stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting here, going up to the top of the foot, and then coming down. Now here, I want to draw in the sides of the leg. So from that hip, I'm just going to curve down to the top of that foot. Over here, we're going to curve back on top of the foot on the right side. Let's draw in some details. So on the left foot here, we're going to draw in the trim for the sole. So we're going to draw a trim across the bottom. Do it on the right side as well. From here, let's give some straps on the legs. On the left side, draw a curve from the front of the leg to the back. We'll draw that twice. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Right here, we'll draw a curve. Draw a curve there. For some boot, I'm going to draw the tongue of the boot sticking up. So I'm going to go across. I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to curve up towards the back of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right, but we're going to start from the back of the leg first. So curving up, go straight up, and then straight across. And then for a little detail, I'm going to just trim this part out. So going across here, going down into that curve, and then from here I'm just going to curve down towards the front of the foot, and then just round that out. Let's do the same thing here. So going across the top, down, and then we're going to curve towards the front of the foot to make it look like the foot is curved this way. And then just round out the front. And then we're going to draw a couple straps coming down here. So from this curve here, curve down to that strap. From this curve here, curve down to that strap there. If you want, you could draw a couple little buckles. So a couple little lines coming down like that. Let's get into the arms. So I'm going to have the arms out into fists on her waist. Now we're going to have to start by drawing in the top of the arm first. But I'm going to start with the bottom edge of the arm, the inner part of the arm, because there's these big sleeves that stick out above the top. So right here, if I imagine the armpit right about here, I'm going to curve out. Now I'm going to do an overlapping line. So I'm going to start off just a little bit lower and curve up to the top of the sleeve. It doesn't really matter how big I go, the bigger the better probably. From here, I'm going to continue this line. So this line will go over and continue this way. I want to come out towards the elbow area, so right here. From this point to that point, you can see that there's, this one's a lot longer. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve. Now that I have this part in place, I, want, I can figure out how thick I want the arm. And I don't want it to be too thick, I just want to make sure it's past this collar line. So curving that up like that. From here, I'm just going to draw in the elbow. So from here I'm going to step in on the top, curving down towards the elbow. Now from here, I'm going to go right up to the hand, curving right up and leaving a little bit of a gap there. Over here, I'm just going to step over and draw a little angled line like that. This is the little wrinkle in the finger. From here, I'm just going to step over, curve in to the leg, and over on, along this leg here, I'm just going to draw one, two little curves like that, and then up here, I'm just going to curve across, just to show the top of the arm. 
Up here, we're going to draw some separation for the gloves. So one curve going up, we'll draw that twice. And then over here, I'm just going to draw a little rectangular box on top of the arm there. And she's got this little thing, this little forearm attachment that sticks out. So just to keep it simple, I'm going to go out at an angle. I'm going to round out and then straighten out as I get to the bottom and pull that right into the forearm. And we're just going to go and draw in sort of like a rectangle on the end there. I'm going to take that arm and draw the exact same thing on the right side. So starting on the inner part of the arm, again, I'm sort of visualizing how big the arm is going to be. So I'm going to go out to the elbow and back in. So I'm going to draw from here, curve. Now from here, I'm going to draw the top part of the sleeve. It's going to go pretty big. And then coming down towards the elbow, like I did here, and then curving out. Connect those two points with a curve, and then we're going to draw the top of the arm, just going across like this. Now let's draw in the elbow area. So up here, I'm going to step in, curving to the elbow. Now we're going to draw a curve going right into the knuckle, just like this, leaving a little bit of a gap. And then we're going to draw, step back a little bit, draw a little line for the finger, step over and curl this into the body. And then along the body, we're going to draw one, two little curves. And we're going to step up a bit more and just draw a curve right into the inner part of the elbow. We'll draw that strap. So let's draw a curve, curve, and then that rectangle. We're going to draw a curved rectangle right in there. And then this little detail here. So from the elbow, going out, we'll round it out and then straighten out as we get to this line. Draw a straight line like this and then a little box across there. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Tracer from Overwatch. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. We have a ton of characters in there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.